Hello guys, my name is Jenya and today I have a lot of cleaning, organizing and decluttering coming your way. My kids playroom is upside down, I need to update their toy rotation, I've let it go a little and now they have a lot of extra toys they're not even playing with, so we'll fix that, I'll be putting that away, organizing it and replacing it with new toys. Then we have a disaster closet, we're gonna need to empty it, vacuum it, wash all the dirty clothes, declutter everything we don't need and put everything back in an organized way. I also keep my papers and documents in my closet and at some point I need to get to that too. Now that we're welcoming spring, I wanted to put all the winter bulky clothes somewhere else that's taking up all the precious space in my closet, but I still want them available just in case. Anyway, this video is packed with organizing, decluttering and cleaning and I'd like to charge you with all the motivation you may need today. So I'll start with an overlook of my kids playroom and show you what we're dealing with in there. So they have six toy rotations which I normally switch every week or so. But last time I ended up giving them a new toy rotation and only partially put the old one away. So they ended up with a lot of extra toys they are now completely bored with. What I decided to do is to put everything in the middle of the room just to see better what I'm dealing with and then start pulling all of those toys into categories. If I see something to declutter I will do so as well. And the rest I will organize and put it into a rotation box which also happens to be a diaper box and put it away to give it back to them in about a month and a half or so. So in a nutshell, I'll be emptying everything into the middle of the room, cleaning and wiping down the furniture, then getting about 90% of those toys out of this room, vacuuming the carpet really well, and then replacing all of those toys with new toy rotation. And after that, you'll be seeing me organizing and decluttering our closet. So now all the shelves are emptied out and everything is in the middle of the room. But we're gonna put this room back into shape in no time. Anyway, my name is Jenya and my husband and I have been married for about three years now and we have two little kids together. My daughter Anya is two years old, my son Max just turned one and we also have a beautiful kitty, her name is Katya. And so my husband goes to work and I stay at home with the kids, clean, organize and make videos. So here on my channel you'll find a lot of cleaning, organizing and decluttering videos. Everything is real life and everything is on the budget. I also like to throw in an occasional makeover as well as a DIY project. For example, I just DIY painted my whole kitchen. It's a small kitchen, but I made it look bigger with the color choice and it only cost me $177, the whole project. So I'll attach that video in the end of this video on the screen. So if you enjoy those type of projects on the budget as well as cleaning, organizing and decluttering, I think you'll like it here on my channel quite a bit. So I hope today's video will get you inspired to clean, organize and declutter your home for the spring that has ended entered most of our houses, but if it's still cold in your area, I hope it's not for long and your spring is just around the corner as well. And if you like today's video, you can let me know that by pressing the thumbs up button. If I... Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover And sometimes you don't wanna come back Cause you'd rather stay out with another Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk guys bragging and the glory So I did set up this rotation a couple of months ago and I do have a video about that as well actually but I put all of the boxes which is about six of them plus two small extras 
into my closet, which we will be organizing later in this video. Although we're not gonna be touching the boxes, we'll just be organizing my clothes, but you'll see where all the boxes are located. And anyway, I started with a lot of smaller boxes because that's all I had at the time. But whenever I came across a bigger box, I would replace the small ones with a bigger one to fit my toys better. So now most of the smaller boxes are replaced with bigger ones and it looks a little bit neater but anyway that's a lot of box talk my point is i wanted to just let you know that i personally prefer to keep the rotations in boxes because they're non see-through and you can write on them and i just don't care for a box it's always replaceable but i also wanted to ask you if you do toy rotations for your kids or you used to do toy rotations for your kids what is it that you used to do maybe what it was plastic bins or something else and what did you find worked better for you i was just curious because i don't understand how the kids react to seeing toys in plastic bins and not being able to play with them that's of course uh, talking about rotation toys and don't they ask parents like mommy daddy can I why can I not play with those toys right now and how do you explain to them that oh that's for a couple of weeks from now or something so I was I was wondering how that works since in my case I not only had to put them into boxes that my kids cannot see through but also had to put them on the upper shelf so that my kids cannot reach them either and they still suspect that there are toys in those boxes and I think they actually know that but then again my kids are younger they are one and two year old so they don't understand if I try to explain to them what those toys are for so yeah let me know in the comments below how that goes with your rotations and your comments and ideas are not only welcome but always greatly appreciated now that my daughter is finally completely potty trained i'm just putting away all of her day diapers and i am putting them away i'm not sure what to do with them we have a little boy but he's a boy and those diapers are kind of girly so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with them for now i'm just putting them away Now I'm gonna vacuum the room. This is my Dyson V10. We got it from Costco. My husband got it for me for Christmas and I love it. You'll see how much dust it collects just from this room alone. This is why I love this vacuum, it's just this room alone. But anyway, my daughter drew on the wall with blue chalk and <laughs> I'm gonna clean that up real quick. Thank God that comes off easily. And then our room is done, I'm gonna show you the after pictures and we are moving on to the next one. I 
I'm bringing in new rotation toys for the kids. I'm gonna leave it in the middle of the room. This is one rotation. I just need to find a bigger box for those. I'm gonna be organizing all of my clothes on this bed. And now if you take a deep breath, here's the closet. We keep rotation boxes on top. My clothes on the right, my husband's clothes on the left. And these are all of my crafts and I don't know what else, everything. Since nothing is organized in this closet, but a lot of things are kept here, I just throw my everyday clothes wherever I can and uh, it needs, so we're gonna organize it. So this white shelf I am going to take into my garage eventually. Things on top are my crafts and everything else we're gonna pull out on the floor and organize today. But we're also gonna make sure that nothing is missing, like clothes in the laundry, so that I'm not underestimating how much clothes I am dealing with. So I'm just pulling out my laundry. Okay, so this white shelf you're seeing, I am, like I said, trying to empty at the end of this whole project. And if we are successful, I'm taking it into my garage and in a different video, organizing all of my crafts, plants, all of my project stuff on this shelf. I think that would be great for that. So I'll be trying to find a different solution for all of the clothes that was kept on the shelf. You see those two drawers? I'm gonna use them for that. If you're thinking that looks like a cow outfit, it actually is. I have it, my daughter likes me to be a cow sometimes. So I don't think I'm actually gonna get rid of this one, but <laughs> less important things I'm gonna declutter today. So first I'm pulling everything out of the shelf, the white shelf on the, on the floor, then I'm gonna put it on the bed and see how much space I have left on the bed to possibly pull out all of my hanging clothes as well. We will organize my husband's side as well, but that's gonna be for another video. His side is not that bad. I think that's because whenever I do laundry, I just try to make sure that everybody else's, my kids and my husband's laundry is done nicely and hung nicely. And by the time it comes turn to do my laundry, I just am so tired. I'm just gonna throw it somewhere on the shelf and not even hang in most of the time. And then I look like the messiest one here. <laughs> So the first thing I'm doing is trying to separate all the clothes into hopefully just a few categories, which is tops, bottoms, and whatever miscellaneous categories I'm gonna end up with. And this is our first huge pile of clothes, and in a minute I'll be bringing up the hanging clothes as well. So like I said, there's a lot of organization in this video, but I promise we'll get through with that, and it'll feel just so great to have that closet organized. I have been putting this project off and off and off for forever, just because I knew how long or how exhausting I guess that would be, but it wasn't as exhausting as the initial part of actually starting to do it. That's the hardest part, really. Everything else is just go with the flow. It just starts flowing once you start. At least with me, that's how it works. Now that my side of the closet is completely empty and all of my clothes is on this bed, I am separating everything and kind of pulling my all of my dresses, my favorite dresses aside, the ones that I'm gonna keep, and 
clothes that need some refreshing and a washing I'm throwing in the pile behind me on the floor I'm gonna throw it into the laundry later and then of course I'm gonna pull aside any clothes that's for decluttering also my goal is to fit as much clothes as I can that's warmer clothes such as sweaters and warmer pants into my new dresser in the bedroom I just brought in a new dresser if you missed my last video I did a makeover of that white dresser and I'm gonna put in all of my warmer clothes into that dresser as much as I can fit so that I can free up some space in the closet. I don't want to put it away completely somewhere on the roof, my warm clothes, because even though it's summer and I'm not gonna need it and summers are pretty hot and long here in the state of Georgia, I still want it somewhere by my side so that I don't have to go through that process again of taking my winter clothes out once the winter comes. I just am too lazy for that, I guess. So to eventually get rid of this big white shelf to my right, I am going to put all of the clothes that used to be on that shelf into these two little dressers on the floor that I had around my house and into the other dresser in the bedroom that is new. And hopefully in the next video I'm gonna take this big white shelf into my garage and organize my crafts and plants and uh, soils in it. You can tell from the look of this closet, I don't vacuum it every day. I have let it go for a few weeks, I would say, and you'll see that when I show you my vacuum. A great thing about reorganizing your closet is the things that you can find. These two black boxes on the floor actually happened to be my kids' toys. I completely forgot about those two boxes. I remember that she had a couple of toys that I haven't seen in quite a while and I kept going through all of those boxes on top wondering where those toys were. And not until I organized this closet, I realized that they were kept in those two plastic boxes, which I gave them to her immediately, like the next day, and she was extremely happy to see those toys again that she hasn't seen now in over two months. And it was wonderful, actually. Don't let anyone hold you down just because you Every little string on me The way 
I'm separating all of my pants into categories. I'm gonna put all of the warmer and winter ones into that dresser, white dresser behind me, the new one like I was saying earlier, and the rest of them is categorized mainly like house pants or something that I can wear outside and painting pants. I'm gonna put all of the rest of my bottom pants into <laughs> bottom pants into the one of those little plastic dressers in my closet. The other plastic little dresser in my closet is gonna be dedicated to my tops, the ones that can be obviously folded. Then there's gonna be a bunch of just hanging clothes plus dresses. And let's not forget, I'm gonna have a bunch of laundry to do after this organization because there's clothes that's been hanging for a long time and I just want it refreshed. So that laundry I think I'm gonna be doing in my next video, but main organization of most of my closet is gonna be done and finished today. And we are moving towards that goal pretty fast. My daughter is gonna come back in a couple of minutes and she needs this bed to take her nap. So I'm gonna be putting the rest of the clothes I'm gonna be left with on the floor in the closet and organizing it there. My daughter is back like I was saying and she needs the bed so I'm trying to wrap it up and move into the closet. Normally I clean and organize with the kids because I'm all the time with them but once a week I have a parent morning out at our church and they go there for a couple of hours and that's just a wonderful time to have to yourself. But I decided to spend this week's couple of hours on organizing this closet because if I do it with the kids, it was gonna take me maybe a week and or I would be putting it off for another couple of months. <laughs> As I'm putting the clothes away and the less clothes I'm left with to organize, the easier it feels and it's almost easier to breathe, I swear. So I'm gonna hang these skirts and we're still gonna be left with some laundry after this organization, like I said, and I'll show you that pile. And I'll be organizing that pile in my probably next video, but I'll show you what I plan on doing with this because that's still clothes that needs to be considered because that's still clothes that needs to be organized. And I'll show you my plans as to where I'm going to put it. So that's my little pile of declutter and that's my huge pile of laundry. That's a big pile to forget if you happen to forget when organizing your closet.
I'm gonna put my bathing suits and my cow outfit in the bottom drawer. That's my kind of miscellaneous drawer, I guess. Those are all the tops we're left with. I'm gonna pull out all of the warmer ones, put them into that bedroom dresser and fold some of them and hang some of them. So some of the warm long sleeve shirts I'm still gonna be using in the summer from time to time. So I like the idea of keeping all of my warmer clothes somewhere in the bedroom that's still accessible but not on the way in my closet. I think that just fits me that I'm not by no means saying that everybody should do the same thing. Please do share in the comments how you organize your clothes. Do you hang your tops and bottoms or do you fold them? Do you put away your warm clothes once the summer comes or not? And your ideas and comments are always very much appreciated guys. So before I show you how the closet turned out, I wanted to show you a little trick with the clothes that annoys you by falling off your hanger all the time. So you just take a little rubber band and wrap it around the ends of your hanger and that's it. You get a lot of these rubber bands with your mail or when you buy greens at the store. Okay, so this little shelf I'm gonna empty and put into the corner of this closet. I'm gonna leave it empty and use it as an extra storage for things like underwear, bras, and extra laundry, I guess. So when that laundry dries, my plan is to hang it, fold it, and just kinda add it to the clothes that I have already organized and see if I have enough space. I think I'll be fine, but we'll see in the next video. <laughs> I'm not worried about that because now that all the clothes is organized, even though I haven't decluttered much, I just have so much more space on top rack with that hanging empty shelves and just to hang clothes overall. We'll organize the paper socks and crafts on our white shelf in the next video and probably get rid of the white shelf, but now I'm gonna show you how our closet turned out. Skirts and dresses on my right and in front are all the tops that need to be hung. That's my storage for underwear, bras and extras. The right dresser is for tops and the left is for the bottoms. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -uh -uh. Winter and warm clothes storage This is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video This was the longest video I've done so far Let me know what you think in the comments And I hope you have a good week And I'll see you in my next one